so we're on to the pointing of this rotunda stone circle so I show you the process that I use um, it's actually a perfect day for it we've got rain showers coming over and it's absolutely ideal because you want loads of water with this uh, particular um, joint and compound the one I use at the moment is Sika Fast Fix um, it's an all-weather uh, self-setting paving joint and compound so ideal for this application so this is what you'll need get yourself a hose and make sure that the the paving is absolutely soaking wet all right can't have too much water on this and the other thing to just say as well is if you if you're doing this commercially and you you don't use you just use part of a bag what I do is I don't know if you can see that but I fill that bag with water and it's perfectly fine um, to just leave it like that it doesn't set because if you if you don't put water in it it's set solid and you can't use the half bag that you've or three quarters of a bag that you've got left from the last paving job so it's a real waste of money because it's quite expensive so just cut cut the bag use what you need of it and then fill the bag up with water and that way it won't it won't go off all right so might be a tiny bit lumpy but that's fine you can kind of just smooth it out um, the other thing that you'll need is must be a pair of gloves a trowel and you want a soft broom right let's get on with this then so take your bag dump it in the middle and then just start to sweep it actually before you sweep it add more water cannot have too much water and you see it's like a slurry and it goes in nicely like that and sort of just try and push it down with the brooms push it into it like that and if it gets a bit dry again more water find a gauging trowel is quite good for that so we just come up to the edge just uh, squeeze it into the joint can you see that it leaves kind of like a petrol kind of sheen on it 
obviously that's just the, the chemicals in it but that will that will hose off afterwards so don't worry about that if you get that kind of petrol -y kind of sheen on it and I've got another one here Get a little more water into it. Sometimes, if the joints are a little bit thinner, you need to push push it in push it into the into the joint and as you work your way round just kind of finish off by lightly brushing it. Fill it up just over the top with the with water, and that will be good for the next time. Okay, so to finish off. spots you've just got to work it into it Just go over it afterwards with the brush, taking as much as you can off. And just kind of, I just kind of buff it. That's why 
you've got to have a soft bristle brush. Hand brush will do, but I tend to use one the hand. Use that sort of spray. So you're just kind of skiffing the surface. And that is it, folks. Oh, there's a little, there's a little bit there. I've done enough of these to know that that's not going to be a problem. When you first put it down, you sort of think, oh, it's 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 stained in the slabs, but that will go away. And you can see, nice and flush. Otherwise, it's good conditions to do this. So that's how you do Sika, Silka, Sika, slab jointing compound. So that's it, folks. That's what's involved. Have fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe.